Hi, and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching episode seven of my mystery monthly minis. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to episode seven of my mystery monthly minis. If you've seen this series before, then you can skip straight forward to the tasting. Otherwise, the way this works is I have over 150 samples in my sample collection and my wife has randomly picked one from my collection and put it into this blue Glencairn glass. I'll nose it, I'll taste it, I'll tell you if I like it and I'll have a stab at what I think it might be. Shall we find out what I'm drinking? On to the whiskey. Right, so let's start with the nose. Right, so this is interesting. It gives off like um, quite an earthy, yeasty, I was gonna say peat, but I don't think it is. It's like, it's like really like um, malty and yeasty. Mmm. It reminds me a little bit of um, the uh, Dartmoor English whiskey. But I'm pretty certain I haven't got any of those in my collection other than full bottles. There's a sweetness there like um, icing sugar. Possibly a fruitiness, maybe a wine finish. I can't be certain at this stage. Mm, maybe like a hint of apple. But it does smell nice and sweet and I'm, I don't know, I'm sometimes a fan of that yeasty note, but sometimes it can be strong on the nose and light on the palate, and sometimes it can be light on the nose and strong on the palate. This has got a fairly decent sort of weight to that yeastiness. But actually, I think as this whiskey is starting to breathe, or maybe as my nose is acclimatizing to it, it's, it's becoming less and less. Let's try it on the palate. Hmm, reminds me a little bit of, um, of like an independent bottling of uh, Craig Ellicke. Um I've tried a couple in the past and it's got that similar sort of note. It's quite sweet, a little bit of tropical fruit. There's that yeastiness, but that yeastiness isn't very strong on the on the palate with this. But it's, um, yeah, it's, it's quite nice. I'm liking this. Let's have another sip. seems quite light on the palate. Fruity, sweet, sugary. That yeastiness, as I said, isn't very strong. There's a little bit of heat, a little bit of um, charred wood, but I don't think there's a wine influence like I thought there might have been on the nose. The, the thing that comes to mind is like a, a Scotch whiskey um, a Highland Scotch or a Speyside. Not certain it is a Craig Ellicke, but it has some similar similar notes. It is quite nice. I think the the sweetness works really well with that yeasty, earthy note. And um, yeah, in terms of finish, it's quite light. Um, doesn't last very long. Uh, there's not much heat, not much pepper, not even much dry wood. It really is light on the finish. But it's, um, in terms of ABV, maybe 43, a uh, push I'd say 46. I'd be surprised if it's any higher than that. But um, yeah, possibly a Highland or Speyside Scotch, but other than that, and other than the fact it's quite nice, I'm not really sure, but it's, uh, it's definitely quite interesting and uh, reminds me of some similar notes I pick up on other whiskies. Should we find out what's in my glass? Okay, so maybe there was a wine influence because it's Tam Navulin Red Wine Cask Edition. It's 40% ABV and it was sent to me by Alan McLaughlin. Well, I definitely thought there was a wine influence, but it 
it seemed so tame on the palate that there wasn't enough fruit coming through that I could definitely say for certain there was a, a wine influence. Tamlavulin, I think I've only had one Tamlavulin before and that was a sherry cask, which was quite pleasant, it wasn't anything stunning, but it was, it was nice enough. And the ABV of this is obviously a 40%. So um, I did say it was quite light and, uh, and I was right. I think from what I can feel in the glass, there's uh, a decent amount left. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take my time with this. I'm gonna see if I can pick out any more notes. And um, thanks, Alan. I'll, um, I'll enjoy the rest of it. Stauncher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? and please consider subscribing for more videos like this.